Um, I'm originally from Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape. And I moved to Cape Town about 10 years ago when I came to study fashion. And um, I started this business about six or seven years ago after studying fashion at Cape Tech. It, right in the beginning, it was just a hobby. And I started out because I was looking for a bag that I couldn't seem to find um, on, you know, in the stores around. And obviously because I'm interested in design, so I started out making um, this one particular bag. Um, prior to that, I was making men's clothing and um, footwear and trying that out. And eventually, sort of the bag started selling and it took off and it became a business. Um, and then, yeah, since then, six, seven years later, we've um, been making a number of different bags and we continue to just make bags for things that people need and for ourselves. So. I think uh, we are you know, the, just by simply manufacturing with locally sourced materials, we are definitely making a difference, making an impact, making people more aware that um, it's, it's good and it's possible to do that. And it's obviously impacting local suppliers and other businesses are being uh, brought up along, along the way as we, you know, start to source things from them. And then I think for me, the more exciting side of the impact is the fact that we've got, you know, um, just over 10 people in the factory who are, their families are being provided for and so that is definitely making it a, an impact in South Africa and lives around here. So we start over here with the cutting. It's Alfonso, doing all the cutting. So we have um, all our patterns hanging up on the wall. Um, Alfonso is busy cutting the sleeves. So this is a leather sleeve. Obviously we can make a number of different sizes, so he'll place this over here and he'll use one of these cutting knives, you can just watch him there, he's going to cut that right now. If that's something you need. Okay, cool. So, you can see there's a number of different shapes, cutting shapes. Um, that, we, that we cut. From cutting, we'll take these panels, as you can see he's just cut that piece there. Um, and then he starts to pile them up over here and there's, a, there's obviously a number of different colours. Um, from cutting we go over to the stitching side of things. This is Pam. He's um, currently stitching um, part of a handbag. So this is the suede inside lining part. We see the wash key label, and then the outer leather part. And um, yeah, we're working on a like batch production. So he's probably working on what's that? Six, eight, ten, ten pieces. And we'll do this back and forth. So it'll go from stitching back to the cutting or the table side. And we'll generally come to this section, to this station here, and. Things will get glued and banged down with. Uh... So, for example, this is a part of a, that same handbag that Pung's working on. It's a different color, but it's part of the same bag. So, seams will get turned, glued down, and, and, and banged down, and that will stay down. It will paste it down, we call it. So, this section is called table work. And the, uh, is all, this is all those exact same bags you saw that Punk was stitching. So it will be moving between cutting, stitching, table work, and then back to stitching for finishing. And then the last points will be quality control, smell, good quality. So all, all finished bags come here, and we clean them, make sure there's no marks, make sure there's no glue stains. And you have the pattern markings we've got on there, like as you can see in our bike, we use some thinners, or benzene, and um, we wipe generally all the insides of the bags, as you can see there. And she'll, she'll use that lighter and she'll burn off sort of like a loose thread like that. You'll just take it and you'll burn it off um, like that. People, a lot of times people come to us with a custom order or something once off that they need, or you know, let's say if a new size of computer comes out, and we make a bag specifically for that. But yeah, mostly it's come out of sort of we see a need in the market where there's a, there's a 
there's a, a lack of a beautiful bag. Um, like for example, a recent example is um, for pregnant mothers, we started making like a nice, a really nice mother's baby bag. So it's things like that that we're trying to make uh, a little bit more um, sophisticated and obviously we source um, the canvas and the leather from within South Africa. We use a lot of game skins, so Ireland kudu and sometimes wildebeest and then we do use bovine cow skins and then the canvas that we use is 100% cotton. The cotton's imported but the canvas is woven in South Africa. I would say the hardest part of our business is always the fact that you you need to keep reinventing and recreating yourself and in design in the design world if you don't if you stay stagnant you get left behind so there's a lot of pressure you have to continuously be on point and uh, aware of what people are looking for so that pressure's um, energizing and fun but it's also challenging because you have to keep staying ahead and obviously there's, there is competition Second to that, I would say it's probably just the normal, the, the, the same old problem in any business is cash flow and reinvesting money back into stock and continuously having to do that and just plowing all your money and seeing your money sort of waiting to be um, sold off, off the shelves and keep repeating the cycle, so that's exciting. And we just launched a line of um, leather sandals, so that's quite fun and we, we think that the, the sandal market could do with an update, so that probably in the next five years you'll see a lot of feet wearing our flip-flops and sandals.